So what's going on guys? We're at the Elite FTS compound and I've got Mike here up from Jacksonville, Florida. What we're gonna do is uh, bring him through a bench workout, see where he needs to improve, what he wants to work on, and uh, well, that's about it. We're gonna bench. We're gonna bench today. It's time to sit down, keep it real, and cut the bullshit. Welcome to Table Talk. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we do something similar, um, how I'm gonna, I'm gonna change how he does it. We have an average band here on the monolift. So similar to what you were saying, what I'm gonna do is do the Donnie Thompson shoulder protocol. Okay. So I wanna cross my pec major minor here, get some tension. Now you're talking about big full circles, right? Mm -hmm. I've got four moves I'm gonna do. So after I get some tension, I'm just gonna move forward like this, about 10 to 15 reps or 20 seconds or so. Next move, I'm gonna go cross the body like this. Same thing, 10 or 15. The big circles like this. I'm gonna finish with a reach and pronation. So I'm gonna reach and pronate like this. Exaggerate the movement. I'm not trying to move my shoulders like that. Stay square and just reach and twist. And all that together is gonna to get that soft tissue ready. So for, yeah, just like that. And then after that, the last one, same as you. I'm put on the back of my shoulder. Once I get tension, I can't put my hand behind my back, but hand on my hip, and I'm gonna chicken wing like that to get the muscular ready in the back. Trying I do that, that for both. Yeah, so I just do that for both sides, and that just before I touch the empty bar, that's that's what I do. All right, let's start with that. You go right ahead. Let me get some tension here. And you said to, so. Yep, you're just gonna just move your shoulder forward like that. Yep. You know, 10, 15 until you kind of start to feel it. So again, what he's doing without even touching a barbell is getting all his tissue ready for the abuse that we're about to put it through so and get it warm. It's... So now we're gonna go across the body like this. Same thing, about 10 or 15, just to start to feel a little bit of a burn. Okay, then once you're done there, you're gonna stay square, big circles, just like that. Yeah, this is Donnie Thompson's shoulder protocol. That's a that's a name everybody should know. Cool. Then once you're done with that, just reach and twist, reach and twist, just like that. He'll do this for both sides. Obviously, get both sides warm. Cool. And just for camera's sake, we'll do that same side. We'll just put the band on the back of your shoulder. Okay. Helps if you have a buddy to put the band where it needs to be. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay. So just. A little bit of tension. Gonna... That band's going to pull your shoulder forward and just chicken wing back and forth. That, just like that. So we want to get the shoulder in particular prepared for all the stress and uh, for all the stress and uh, stress. We're, <laughs> we're going to get the shoulder prepared for all the stress we're going to put it through. Uh, especially in the bench, you want to watch the shoulder. So we're getting the front warmed up and now we're getting the back of the shoulder warmed up. And then he'll just repeat front and back on the other arm. So you were saying you, were, you do you do a lot of like something like this, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'll go like forward and back. Okay. Is what I'll do there. Kind of like a pitcher would do almost? Yeah, yeah. Okay. With big arm circles. I'll do like normally. A... It's probably not a bad thing to add in there as well. This is just how I do it. Yeah. So just for the sake of being here, we'll do it. Kind of try to do something different. No, I like this. This is yeah. a lot more. This hits I my rear I, delt a lot better. I won't touch the empty bar until I do this. Yeah. This is the one I missed. <laughs> I like this one. The only other thing I do is a thing for the elbow. I'll like put oh, it do you do on it? the elbow oh, that, mm -hmm. and I'll bring it across. You do it for both sides? Yes. Cool. No, I normally only do it one way. Band on the outside? Yeah, band on okay. the outside. Then I kind of pull from the outside gotcha. and pull it this way, normally. Okay. We'll hit that rear delt on that side and then we'll, uh, we'll get you to the bench and we'll be ready to go. Can I ask you a question while he's doing it? There you go. There you go. What, what, what? Do you think it matters where his arm is at? Like when you're doing your front shoulder, your mm -hmm. arm is down like this, and he's going like. It's how, whatever whatever feels the most gets the most muscle ask, muscle activation. I'm just trying to get all the meat warmed up. Cool. All right. There's your Super D Donnie Thompson shoulder protocol. All right. Cool, man.
and then uh, just short, like how, so when you lay down, like what do you, how, how's your, how do your warm ups go? How do you conduct so, this thing? Normally what I end up doing is I'll do about, I'll do a set of Louie push-ups. So I'll just do push-ups on the bench, but I'll explode off. Oh. Just kind of get a little explosion. Like Josh Bryant used to do a thing. I used to do it when I was in college at Florida State, where you'd have somebody stand on a box and drop a light med ball and you would set up in your bench and you would catch it and explode it back to them, right? Okay. So you could prime that. The, the, the whole thought process was to prime the fast twitch muscle. Remember how Bill Kazmaier used to talk about a spring? Yes. Compressing, compressing, right, you fire. Go. That was the thought of like catching it, <laughs> staying tight and exploding through. It's like a more dynamic way of doing speed work without it's, the bands. Yeah. But you're that's throwing it up in the air, right? Yeah, yeah okay. essentially. So that's, that's all I would add into that and okay. then I'll... I normally don't start with an empty bar. I normally start with a plate and I might do one or two sets. Like I do more of like the how the body feels. Today, one plate felt great for one set. We can move on. Okay. Felt like dog shit today. Might want to hit one or two, maybe a couple extra reps just to get that. And do you use pounds or do you want kilos? Does it matter? I don't care, brother. Whatever's easier. We can whatever's use freedom easy. units because that math is way simpler. <laughs> um, whatever's closer. There's a bunch of pounds closest to this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. That will use these then. That's. That's okay. Perfect. Cool. Works for me, buddy. And just we'll get your height figured out too. Okay. You're gonna go on this bench. Yeah. So I will tell you the one thing. I used to bench with my feet tucked. And Tony Carlino is a good friend of mine. Hold and Tony on. was. Stop for a sec, I guess. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead, bud. Batting. <laughs> so Tony had made a suggestion to me about putting my feet out wide. Mm -hmm. So the two issues I ran into is when my feet are tucked, I deal with stability up top. Yes. But I get a lot more connection leg drive. The other issue I have is being a former Olympic athlete. Normal people, when they bring the bench down, their feet are tucked, they tend to pinch the bench. When yes. I go to drive, my legs spread apart. Okay. Yeah. So then when I put my feet out wide, it has felt better. I've started to develop it. Yeah. But I'm still having that issue of sometimes I think, I can't tell if my feet are too wide or too far forward. Because like I'll hit a big bench, mm -hmm. and as I'm finishing, this foot is slipping and going forward, or it's slipping and going forward when I rack. Good. That's something I can look at, like food for thought. Yeah. But I like. I don't like the whole being tucked on the bench because if you do have lateral movement, you have no stability. And that's what I was dealing with. Was like yeah. forever. It was always like I thought it was me, and I'm like I'm not getting in my lats, man. I'm just I'm just not tight. But it was. I mean, what, look at any wrestler or football player. They're not tackling like this. They have a wide stance. Exactly. That's your stability. Your best offensive linemen are all. I think wide. you're going to bench more ultimately with that wider stance. Then we'll I'm stay a believer there. in that. Good. We'll then look we'll at it. There. We'll make sure you're good. Got it. All right. Let me lay down. Yeah, we'll see. Your, let's get your height figured out. I'm assuming it's going to be. Yeah. It's a good So if we're in a shirt, I'll you're, be yeah, here. If, if we're raw, I'm here. Okay, if you're all the way out, let's see. Yeah. Yep, you get all this one. Here. So. I want one of these for home. I do too, buddy. <laughs> this is yeah. a, oh. It's on the list. Okay, try that. Okay. I still think. You that's your. To, that's your raw. That's my raw. Okay, that'll, that'll be your shirt. Now we got one more. <clears throat> I think that's my height, so that might be. Yeah. We'll work with that to begin with. If we need to go down again when you go heavy, we'll lower it even more. Okay. No worries. You start with the plate, don't you? Yeah, normally. Okay. Have you ever uh, reverse script at all? I love reverse script. Okay, we're saying. <laughs> I said to Tony, I was like, Help me figure out how I can reverse grip bench and shirt. <laughs> you know, to be honest, it hurts my shoulders and my pecs a lot less. My wrists just aren't happy. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's that pain tolerance. I can only hold so much weight vertically in that in the palm mm -hmm. right there. So that's my limiting factor. Okay. Because uh, they're like, well, if it's a superior grip, why don't you compete with it? Good argument. But I, I can tolerate like 900 pounds here, but 14 here. Otherwise, I would compete with it because I love That's it. Well. And to be honest, I warm up reverse grip. Same. Normally one or two, right? And I took something from you in a video with you, right? Uh -huh. So I'm sick and tired of this, like, what's your raw bench? Well, guess what? I got one and a half pecs, buddy. That little figure eight don't give you a whole lot of pop and a bunch of pounds, but it's enough to tell my brain, like, you're safe, bud. Yes. We can do this. So that's normally what I do is I might do one or two, 
We go three, I don't even bother rolling anymore. Throw the figure eight on, just a little bit of protection. That's fine. Right? You're an equipped athlete. Yeah, Dude. and just for shits and giggles the other day, I had a hair across my butt and I wanted to prove a point to a certain someone who kept talking. Raw, we'll figure eight. Sure. 485, reverse tool on board. I'll keep it off camera. And I was like, so, I was like I got up and I, I was like, was that good? Cause like, you know, the appropriate reception with the raw, I'm like, was that good? And they're looking at me like, yeah, That's pretty damn do good, you man. not know? I was like, did we take a video? Cause I don't really know what was on there. I just told you to put some shit on there. <laughs> the number of people that can bench five raw in the world is fairly small. So you're very close to five. That's a, that's actually fairly rare. Yeah. As much as the internet might, might make it seem much like as the internet not, might make it seem like no, it's better. That's pretty. It's that's pretty exceptional. Yeah. So I was I'm just as flabbergasted as you. I was like, oh, we can do that reverse raw, but seven's the best we got in a shirt. Whoa! Yeah, we're <laughs> gonna figure this shit out, man. Awesome. I got you. So what would you like me to do first? You do, you do everything how you normally do it. I'm gonna observe, we'll fix and it we'll there. fix stuff. Sounds good. All right. Well, don't get mad at what I'm about to do, because <laughs> my first two warmups are normally feet up. So I, Bro, eh? I learn to, and I have to make myself engage the core a little differently. Okay. So I'll like, let's see. I'm here to hand off if you need it. Got Go. it. Yeah, just do that. Anyway. A little, little bump. Oh, yep. Are you ready? On your call, brother. Right, one, two, whoop. Right out, release. Good, good, good. Oh, oh. Woo. I like it. Yeah, it just seems to warm me up better in the positions that I need to be in. I mean, you know, you have the ability raw to still, I mean, we, we try to tuck when we go raw, but you still have the capability to do this. Yes. If, if, if not by choice, by desperation, like people will get desperate and they'll throw their elbows out. When you, go, when you go reverse, you can't. You're yeah. locked. And that's what I like about that. The other thing, too, is I found like even raw, like in the shirt now, I have these guys who are trying to tell me you need to be wider. And I'm like, in the band hold shirts, on. right? Yeah, but yeah. there's a caveat to being Panora out here, dude. Uh -huh. There ain't a whole lot of people can bench like that and not blow something off. And just in case people don't know, that right there is internal rotation on the shoulder. That's bad juju. We want to be external. We want to be in here like that. That's external. No, I did that with, first time I got in the band shirts, I was listening to other people and they said, hey, you need to bench, you need to unlearn how to bench and bench out here. Cool, it took a grand, pop, out for three weeks, nursing a boo-boo shoulder. I was like, ah, fuck that. So yeah. I benched in my poly. So it's like I benched in the band shirts, tucked and go low. Tucked. Are you over, are you tucking hard? No. That's what I was doing in poly for years was I was always taught to tuck hard. I, t I would tuck hard if I had trouble touching. Okay. So that now if you tuck, the more you tuck, the lower you have to go. There is a limit yeah. to how far you can go. Band shirt. I mean, I'm like, you know, 45 degrees. Slight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not flare, but not super tucked. Yeah. A healthy That's balance. the big, like stay long, stay wide. Well, as a carry out to stay wide, dude. So to me, stay long, what I'm talking about is the shoulder staying depressed, staying oh, long, right. Mm -hmm. right? And then by staying wide, I just, it's a cue to me to not, I want to over tuck because that's what makes this feel protected. And I need to stop that. This is where I have to. So when yes. I hear stay long, stay wide, you'll watch me. I'll go like this. And then I go, <laughs> I'll actually do it when you hand it off sometimes. Like I'll be like this. I got you. And then I come out and I go, <laughs> <laughs> it's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, you, you'll get a little more out of the equipment going wider, like, like, like more, I'm sorry, more or less tucked. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to watch. Safety and stability, right? Safety like stability. Like Bruce Mason and I talked about with like the OG versus the LUP. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can go 1083 here, the OG, or I can go 1053 in the LUP and have a lot more adjustability and be a little, he's like, yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. a little more stability. You going up now? Or you want to do the... So, no, know. normally what I'll do is like, so I always take a bunch of warm ups just to make sure we're warm. So I'll take like 185, I'll go 225. And then it's based on the day on how I'm feeling, right? Like sometimes, you know, I'm in here today, we're going to go two, three, four, and we're just going to keep doing that. I did not clip that side, that's my apologies. Oh, I did. Right. <laughs> I got to find one. But, uh, I generally take the Ivan Drago approach. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> When it comes to myself, well, <laughs> it doesn't match, but it's not the same oh, color. I don't care. <laughs> Some people do. That's why I said it. <sighs> Some people do. Some people. Only time you're gonna get me to care if one's like a two and a half kilo clip and the other's a plastic it's a clip. Different. I understand. <laughs> you still feet up on this one? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Still feet up, and then we'll put the feet down after gotcha. that. So let's get in here. Ready? Yep. What? Two. Nope. Out, yours. Okay. 
looking good. Yep. Gotcha. What would be the, like, what's your upper end goal? Like, what are you trying to accomplish today being here? I'm trying to, so, so I need to make sure my equipment fits. And I want to make sure that I am thinking and putting into the process the correct way to be benching in that shirt. I'm competing Strength of Heroes September 8th. So July, we got less of June, July, August. Okay, so two and a half, weeks. 11 weeks. 11 weeks. Okay. okay, almost three months. Yep, goal is eight. Okay, fair enough. I think that's a pretty good goal. Okay, are you trying to touch or are you just trying to like work off boards and go heavy? Like, are you just. Whatever you think I need, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm open, man. Okay. I wanna learn from you as much as I can. So I don't, look, I don't care how advanced I ever am uh -huh. or are in anything that I do. I can learn something, I could take something away from a beginner, right? I can take something away from anybody. If you're so. not sure, if you, the day you stop learning is the day you've. You've died. You're, you're, you're done. You're, you're done. You're, you're slowly regressing. Yes. Right? So, uh, you know, right. just because that kid's new, you need to figure out something that you weren't thinking about, no, you know? True. So, but again, if I'm with, I'm with you, dude. You see, just. Okay. I'm gonna follow the plan, dude, because it may be something completely different than what I'm training, but it may be better. You got it. Important question: Which way do you put the place? Do you care? In. Okay. But I really don't care. <laughs> now. I don't want to fuck you up while I'm getting out here. Yeah. No, it won't. <clears throat> Jimmy, the way the plates face. If I fucked that up, it ain't because the fit place, the plates were faced the wrong way. Okay. So I did something stupid. <laughs> so at this point. Or are you going? Are you going legs down now? I'll go legs down. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll go legs and down. Don't hey, hydrate. Don't rush. Just yeah, okay. Then, yeah, thank I'm, you. You're gonna have to remind me that because like yeah, that's hard. For I'm me. not trying to take too much of your time. So no, I'm here for you, man. This is uh, this is really important. So you hydrate, you rest, you get your salts in you. I'm pretty sure these are probably. I won't fill my rest breaks. Hey, what's that? Because I won't fill my rest breaks. <laughs> give you guys up. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. If he does something you're like, oh that's cool, but I like a different angle of it, just tell him. For sure. Okay. He'll just stop and redo it. Cool. Like Thank you. I'm just a handler today, cool. so I'm you tell me if you need something. Gotcha. Thank you. How many reps are you going for? Uh probably three to five. Three to five. Give me a verbal. Yep. yep. One, two, whoop. Doors. Two, three, one more. Five. Got it. Ooh. I like your leg position from here. Okay. Seeing it for the first time. Um, you. Would you like to switch spots and you watch from where I'm watching and I'll give him a hand off? Come on. So you can see I'm fine with that. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll try. We'll do that. Because I feel like we always see such different things. Because yeah. I'm here watching. Like I can sit here and see like what a side judge is gonna see. Mm -hmm. You're seeing what your handoff guy is gonna see. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you are you're you're very wide with yes. the legs. Oh, so they're too wide almost. I'm not gonna say too well, wide. Well, the issue I have is sometimes I'll send like Tony a video, mm -hmm. and Tony's fiance Shelly is one of my good, really good friends. She's a very good body diagnostic. She can diagnose the human body a lot better than most people, okay? Gotcha. And one thing she always notices, she tells me, I think it's part of our fat pad that he kind of, that I bought that he makeshift put on our TSSS bench. Okay. Um, but she always says that one leg looks way wider than the other. Like I'm completely, you know, whatever. We'll pay so, attention to that. Because benching is not just like, you know, loading up the bar and pressing and do it's also about symmetry. So if your one leg is wider than the other or one leg is back more than the other, when you push, that's going to cause an imbalance of pressing at the top as well. So immediately I'd say, again, I'm, I'm going to let you do your thing and just watch. I'm almost thinking slightly closer. Okay. But I, I want to keep watching. So on the next one, she'll I'll do hand nothing off. different. <laughs> do nothing different on the Go. next one. She'll hand off and I'll, I'll watch from the front and see. But take your time. Yeah, again, no rush, man. Yeah, no 25, you want 25 on there? Yeah. <coughs> These, uh, 
fairly shallow. He's not like way out, so just. Yeah, I'm not way out. So and when, he, when he's there, he kind of just stops. So just. Yeah. When I'm in a turret, you'll have to push me. Fine. That's just, I don't know why I'm like that. I've always been like that. Most people are because the shirt yeah. like stops you. Yeah. Like you get to a point and then you kind of have no, to No, but I need to get over. better. Like it's only so often that I feel that. Come on, it's listen. only so often that I feel that like that perfect, like my belly is up. This is so locked. This key, you know what I'm talking about? Like that I'm so locked. My belly is so perfect that there you could, the Hulk could try and push me. I'm not going to move. <laughs> but when I'm in that, when I can find that, oh boy, oh. life's great. You know. Okay. So. Yeah. No rush at all. This is all your time. Don't rush the warm-ups, man. If you need more time, take it. Yes. I'm gonna stand in the. We really have all day. I don't know if you have okay. all day. You're uh, flying out there. What, what? That. So here's what I told Sheena. My plane leaves at 5:45. From Columbus. Okay. Hold on. This matters more than anything to me right now. So I don't give a shit if I have to get another. Uh, I'm cursing way too much for this. <laughs> I, we can curse, right? That, uh, yeah, I, I don't give that. a fuck if I have to stay another night and get another hotel room. That does not bother me. I want to do this the right way, the way you were okay. looking to do it, and soak up as much from you as I can. No pressure. If I have to stay, I don't give a shit. Okay. So do not cut anything because you think I have to go. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. You know. Fair enough. You know how it is. We're leaving on the 16th. We really left on the 26th. So, <laughs> at 0400, we really left at 0100. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't remind me. So, yeah, if you want to kind of see, like, where the side judge is going to be looking at him or wherever. My reps are going for I'm just going to like, two to three. Two to three, okay? Two to three. Okay. Oh, I slide back. Okay. Good? Yep. All right. One, two, up. Cheers. It is, it is fairly wide. I would say that. Okay. Seeing it from both spots now, I could say it's fairly wide. When you set up again, it's easier for me to see your feet from the head spotter position. Uh, I'll pay attention to it. Your left was slightly back more than the right. You're kind of off like this. Okay. So I'll make sure, like, if I say, hey, right foot back a little bit. Slide it back. Just, I'll just, you just kind of work it back. But, yeah. Um, it's almost like the whole, I don't, I don't do the sumo to conventional argument. I think that's stupid. The wider you go, potentially the less power you have. So we got to find a little bit of a balance. It's funny you said that. I just had this conversation with Andy Polk. No shit. Where I said, I need to bring all my feet in because Anthony Hobika said something to me months ago. He goes, Mike. For three years. All your shit is close stance. I said, yeah, that would be why every time I pull sumo, there's always like when I go wide, I can't get my pelvis through at all. It's always out in front. And when I'm pulling, I always feel like these are not happy. They're always uneven. They're always shifted. But when I squat, I went from this, and granted I have nothing that fits, mm -hmm. and all I did was bring it here. And now when I pick, normally what would happen is my knee, like I went through this thing where the knee would shake uncontrollably, you couldn't wrap my knees, it yeah. felt like you were stabbing me. I went closer. Now when I pick, there's none of this shit. There's nothing in the hole, it's just. You've got power there. You've got more of you underneath the bar. Just like raw, a lot of, the, for years, I was pinky on the ring. Mm -hmm. Well, Gary Frank was a, you know, uh, you know oh, Gary, he was a monster. He squatted like right here in equipment. He said he liked feeling his legs underneath of him. That's, I think that's Brian Carroll. Brian Carroll squats very narrow. And I think it was the same thing for Brian was okay. you just feel that stability. So I will be playing with the closer. Okay. But I'm with you on the tuck, man. I just, yeah. I feel like that top end, you know, I yeah. spent a lot of years of like, you handed me off of something I should have smoked and you're doing this. Yeah. And then by the time you bring it down, yeah. If you are off, even just like an inch back compared to the other, that's going to affect the rest of the machine all the way up. So, well, I'll make sure I look at your. It's kind of like placement. knee. It's kind of like a uh, like knee injuries, right? It's almost never the knee, hip to ankle. Uh -huh. We we diagnose down. Yes. Should be the same thing when we're coaches, right? Uh -huh. So, here down. Exactly. Right? Are you going to have him do higher rep sets or would you rather have him like good singles good single good single good single I, i'd like to see heavy singles okay. or even like if you I wanted agree. to work doubles or something to get more out of it then i'm doing this fine i did accessory okay. upper on saturday no. so i did a i did it well, was nothing I, i've been running my speed work on 405 just because i'm getting back into speed work so i didn't take running it off five was a good idea even though i you know I, i've done it on multiple but sure. it's been a while okay. 
And um, so I've been running it light, and then what I do is I take the bands off. So I did a five by five straight bar, right? 185, oh, whatever. Okay. And then what I did was I work up to like a decent eight. So for the three week wave, I did 345 for eight. Next week I'll go 340 or 355. Then I'll go 365. Then the three week wave will change, and I'll pick a different bar and do something similar. I feel you then. All yeah. right. We at three now. Yep. Try to keep the kiss principle, buddy. <laughs> keep it simple. That's how I live, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something an old drill sergeant told me, but I have to say that off camera. Oh, fine. <laughs> Eventually, when he shirts, we'll have to grab Dave. That's fine, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I can do I can do quite a bit on my own, but mm -hmm. I, I'd like to have three people. But also, I think it's nice to have to where you can see outside of right here. Mm -hmm. Did you notice a big difference from like what you saw above versus what you saw out? I mean, it just kind of confirmed what I was thinking up okay. here, now that I saw it from over there. These are great, aren't they? I love it. <laughs> it's a little little blown out in the middle. <laughs> it really is, well loved. My bad, I didn't mean to it's, do that. It's very well loved. That's <laughs> yeah. alright. I'll tell you what, Jimmy, it's even good on speed work. Put it in for my speed work, but all I do is like I leave it on. So I do five, I sit up, I right. catch my breath, I do five. I sit up, I catch my breath, I do five. That's yeah, pretty non-invasive. You don't even have then to that's take what I'm off. saying. Like, it's not giving me a bunch of pop. It's just keeping me together. Yes. You know, and like, you don't yeah. even have to take it off. A little feeling of assurance just for your, you know, just pecs my and head. shoulders. Yeah, just for my head to go. There's only half one there, but we got you, buddy. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's like a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, yeah. I've, I'll throw these on for... All sorts of different bars, Cambridge bar, Buffalo bar. You can wear it if you want. I'll Floor press. We still keeping the reps the same, or what are you going down to now? Probably just do a single. Single. I don't Double know. somewhere in there. I normally just get the singles about here. Yep. Thank you, sir. Okay. Get in there. We're gonna go regular now. Yep. Good setup. So bring him in a little right like that. Yeah, right like that. Bring your right right foot back about yep. a little bit more. A little more. There. That's okay. Good, yeah. Yep. Yeah, my hips are screwed because that feels like this is so much more. It probably tough. feels off, but that, that hurts, now you're you can always bring the other foot out a little bit. Right, here we go. One, two, Whoop. yours. That felt so awkward on the way down because what it feels in my head is it feels like this is way far back and tucked and that's not. I mean, if you're so used to being yeah. off for so long, putting it right is going to feel yeah. strange. Yeah, so to, I know it's me. So for the sake of if you're going heavy and that feels too off, just go to where it feels comfortable. Just know for the future that that's something to keep in mind of. Like, yeah. I'm not asking you to go to 800 and change you know, 10 different things. Just keep it observant, like when you're home. Yeah. Like, hey, guy, like when I'm benching, I gotta make sure I'm even. Yeah. But for, so if it's if it's throwing you off for the big weights, just take note, but disregard and just bench heavy. Or athlete if it hurts athlete to first, buddy. Athlete first. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Oh, I forgot. I forgot all that shit. Back. <laughs> I forgot it all. Well, you should have the one ingrained in your in, ingrained in your mid, which prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. That's Not the Marine quite. Corps seven P's, buddy. Mm. Oh. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that on camera either. No more. <laughs> it's cool. The quickest way to get anybody active in the military's butthole to pucker is to ask them where their CAD card is. <laughs> I'll, ma I'll make you stop dead in your tracks. Do what? That probably means it's not on you, it's on them. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it means. Yeah. You know where your CAD card is? Oh, left breast pocket. Fuck. <laughs> supposed to be left breast pocket. If the words out of your mouth aren't an immediate yes, that story is definitely <laughs> starting with a see what had happened was. <laughs> oh. At what way? So do you go from the figure eight to your shirt, or is there no. an in between? So normally what I'll do is I'll. 
It's depending on how I'm feeling that day. I try to push the, the figure eight sometimes, or mm -hmm. I'll push the raw sometimes. Just maybe something I haven't hit in a while and take a 10 pound PR, write it down. Maybe next time I get around that variation, I'll do it again. But I like the Raven over the slingshot. I can almost bench as much in the Raven as I can in my shirt. I said to Bruce Mason the other day, I was like, if they could just okay me complete, like competing in a Raven or a and my Raven's loose. Well, you know what? If you have Rob just throw a belly on it and a little bit of a back, that's a shirt. That's totally legal. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like, the actual shirt stops here. Yeah. And this is all just extra material. So if you had him add maybe just a little bit of a back here. Yeah. And throw a belly on it, like, that's... That's, that's basically what Enzer's band shirt is. Okay. Enzer's band shirt is basically just that with a... I think he ha I think Dave has one over there. He does. It's hanging up on the, by like the door. I'm telling you, Jimmy, it looks like this, and it just like, like you took a piece of a t-shirt mm -hmm. and just dropped it and nope. like sewed the top. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Because he sent me uh, the inner shell of an old shirt that okay. I had. Has like an insert? Well, it was, it was a four ply, but I said, hey, this thing is like too radical. Can we change it? Yeah. He took the inner two layers out and sent that to me separate. Like, hey, maybe you can use this as a training tool. Okay. It kind of looked like a Raven, but it was yeah, more. Yeah, Ben Polly keeps telling me to get an insert. I was like, Ben, I have a Raven. Why do I need an insert? Well, I mean, if it fits, I mean. Well, I don't think it'll fit in the shirt as an insert, but. Let's see here. Let's take a peek here. I, I, know, I know you can slide that figure eight on under that shirt, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of not the right size. But yeah, not the right size, but you almost could do that. Almost. But yeah, no, honestly, like, if you look at it, I mean, you add a belly to it, you can compete with it. It has to all be, it has to be from the manufacturer yeah, from one the piece. From the manufacturer one shirt. Yeah. But no, that's, no. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. So you're doing this figure eight and then Raven and then shirt. Actually, to be honest with you, you're probably getting the shirt at five. I'm a big fan. If you want, are you, you got me working on boards or you want me to touch? So. I'm okay with whatever you want. You're 11 weeks out. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't be too important to touch right now. I mean, you've touched before. Oh, so yeah. Touching a, touching in a band shirt for me is not a problem. That's why I tend to stay on boards. Um, then the, and for that for the that argument, we'll just stay on boards. Okay. Because there's no reason to, especially 11 weeks out. I'd rather yeah. see you go extra heavy where you can off of, like, limited range of motion. So yeah, gotcha. We'll do, like, one board or something. Yeah, especially because if that, if like, the main thing I want you to do is look and tell me, like, what, if that fits, if it even fits me. Mm -hmm. That was my buddy Andy's. Um, and he gave that to me. This is two years. And he well, sent this to me. I don't understand it. I don't know. Well, this is three right here. Yeah. Well, how the fuck? You, you, make sense, you make sense of it, buddy. I can't. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> That's why I'm saying. One, two, three. One, two. Where's the third layer? That's what I... <laughs> Wait, no, wait a minute. Unless it's bare, see, that might be the third layer right there. See that? that niceness. Yeah, I guess. But you. I don't, but I don't, yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is. Got it's, it. It's a three. Okay. God, I, was like, I have another one that's a definitive three that was made for me. That was the first shirt I got, but I was 255 then. And you're how much now? 228. Okay. Yeah. So it's bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I even had one that my buddy Mike Skiba sent me that he had the sleeves elongated, like a poly, and they came to a cone. But Jimmy, when you get in there and start getting pumped up, mm -hmm. oh, kick it off your arms because it's so tapered down here. And I did not like when you're bringing it down. Mm -hmm. It's not the poly material that hugs you. So all it's doing is cutting nice. as you're bringing this down further. Nice. You know, I've not heard of them extending the, the sleeves. Mine always have to be short. No, he had them ex like they were extended and then they were like combed. Mm -hmm. So they would like, I was like, I don't understand what the purpose was. For so all, you have three rows here. So you one, two, three. Yeah. If that's. That's a standard how they come. Maybe it was a one ply with an insert. It could be. I don't know. He told me it was a two. That's like, all I know. Well, this this standard like three rows for the sleeves. Yeah. Will be down to here on me. Oh wow. So I he has to make mine like. Oh no. Hundred percent custom we'll with just two rows. If you pull rows. that up, that shirt will be up here. On oh me. really? You have the you have adjustability. You've got longer arms than I do. Yeah. So you can have the shirt behind the elbow, mm -hmm. or you you can move it up. Okay. I, I can't. Yeah, I have one. I have one speed. They go right here behind my elbow. Yeah, and my arms are too damn short, so I can't pull the shirt up any higher. No shit. I don't have that adjustability. Oh, so. just a second. One single. Let's set up. Let's set up. Don't do your thing. Middle finger. Oh, right. Try to finger. Yep. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Ready, here we go. One, two. 
Yours. Five, two, one, go. Nice. Good. You got great speed coming up. Great speed. <laughs> that groove in this is just so normal for me. I guess if you really I mean, you said that's almost the same as that. It's in terms of what you're benching. Almost like so. So yeah. if you, I mean, if you really like it, like you could always convert it in the future. That would be a good idea. Thank yeah. you for that, because I don't, not posting things on purpose, but we took, I took five and a quarter against double purples in that, and then hit 625 in the shirt. And I'm like, uh, this shouldn't be this close. I'm, I'm interested. I want to I wanna see you in that shirt. We're going to look at it, because right. that, that shouldn't be that way. But Exactly. That's, that was my thought. I was like, Jimmy's going to look at this and be like, you've been benching in this thing? There might be a, <laughs> something we can connect some dots. We'll see. Oh, yes, sir. This, this is now sure. Sure, yes, yeah. sir. Good, good, good. I like to always get in this at five. So I'm always working a lighter weight. I'm always trying to. Well, people ask me that same question like, when should I shirt up? I'm like, well, are you having trouble with it? I said, yeah. So, so why wait till your top end is shirt up? shirt up at comically lighter weights for you it's more sets more time in the shirt to learn the piece so getting into it early is a really good idea so i like that that's why like when i program mm -hmm. i would write and i got this from my buddy andy he's right i'll write three by one max effort raw safe and then i'll write three by one max effort shirt gotcha. so i know you have to take at least three times to get to your top set there you go there's a reason you keep your records louis was right every time you walk in there you take a 10 pound 20 pound pr and you get out why because this will build over time. And you don't keep your body in one piece when you're not getting greedy, right? A 20 pound PR, how many times a month over the course of 12 months is yeah. a lot of weight. Especially if you're running a conjugate system, you may not see that variation for six months. Yeah. I don't like to keep it that complicated. You know, I think no. it's very simple. Yeah. It's like when people, everybody's on this kick now about the band tension. I'm like, look, dude, I'm gonna make this very simple for you. Buy a new set of bands every year. Did Jimmy hit more with the doubled purples this time than he did last time? Then we're progressing. There you go. Doesn't matter what it is. Because all these physics equations, you, you're, like, you're not doing the math right. You're trying to gauge the, the bands. Mm -hmm. But where are you gauging the bands to? Well, what do you mean? I was like, well, just because he's got long arms, this doesn't matter at that point. This matters more. Mm -hmm. There's weight. You're overcomplicating this, dude. Just do more than you did with the same bands last time. There you go. Right? And don't have them for six years because that's a false old, PR, buddy. Old, absolutely. <laughs> Now, do you wear your t-shirt under, under the I shirt? Do. Yes, you do. because in poly, that was the biggest thing that pissed me off was like getting on that bench mm -hmm. because I have so much leg drive back, I would literally slide. So I just started like, I would try to put a towel down or something. Do you put anything on your back? Do you chalk, do you, do you spray or anything? I will chalk it a meat. I'm terrible about chalking and training. Like I have to be yelled at to chalk my hands. Cause I'm just very like, like my, oh, yeah. I have one training partner who's all, Nick's always like, it's always like 556. He's like, will you chalk your fucking hands? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I guess. I can't walk in the gym and not have, like, I, that's the first thing I do. Cause it doesn't feel right if I don't, I mean. Well, right I figured now, your but. question was going to be, do you have a bench belt? The question is yes. Not with me because the Anderson belt I have was given to me too big to begin with. It was bought as a Christmas present. Do you and, need uh, one? I got one in my car. I do because, I, like, it's Jimmy. I'm on the last hole and I can't even wear it with my shirt on. It falls down. <laughs> like tight. I don't have it with me. I have one, but I'm I'm a little yeah. girthier around the midsection. Yeah, so I didn't even bother to bring it because I put it on on Tuesday okay. and like we clipped it and it just went. <laughs> I'll just buy another one. Okay. I mean, for the day, I wonder if we can just finagle. He might out. have something somewhere. I mean, he does sell bench belts. Yeah. <laughs> he should have I mean, something. So we did, not, we did not find a belt, so we're just going to have to make do uh, without one. Uh, I find it fairly essential to have one with these shirts particularly, but we'll, we'll make do. All right, so I'm just kind of watching and observing what he's doing right now. He did his raw warm-ups. Uh, he does feet up for a little bit. Putting his feet down is interesting because I'm seeing how he's having trouble kind of being wide. I think he's too wide. I need to come in a little bit. He's going to hop into his uh, figure eight, start being like semi-equipped. Uh, kind of like bridging the gap. You know, Some people can go from raw to like fully equipped, but we like to kind of bridge the gap. So instead of going from like four plates raw straight to seven or 800 pounds in a shirt. We can go like four, uh, four plates, uh, two or three plates raw, put on a little piece, go three, four, put on a heavier piece, go to five, kind of bridging that gap between the pieces. So after that's done, we'll get in the shirt and uh, start going heavy off boards. He went from raw to his uh, figure eight to his Widowmaker, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Raven. So now we're gonna get into his 
We found our actual full triple ply shirt and start hitting some weights and doing some heavy singles off boards today. He doesn't need to go full range being 11 weeks out and he's fairly proficient at touching. So we're gonna go heavy off the boards in his competitive piece. Bottomed out. I yep. found a bench bell for it'll me. Work. It'll work better than nothing. Yeah. So we got Dave out of the back here and he went and found us a belt that should work for the day. So a uh, little Velcro belt. So that should work. Just fine keeping that shirt down where he needs it. So that'll work. Let's get this set over. Let's Thank go. you, sir. Yep. And then you can do this side. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a thing to stand on? Cause Dave's fairly tall than me. Mm -hmm. Like this. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. So I'll, go, I'll go behind. We can stack them two or three more. I've been hearing Dave say online for about 15 years that you should have somebody wrap your wrist. And I agree with him. However, no, you can I don't have any. I don't. Now. Well, I'll just say, I don't have anybody I trust. Yeah. And I like to be know that the accountability is on yeah. me when it screws up. I mean, with old school bench or it's an yeah. issue, but you just. In like, these, you don't. Oh, yeah, with those? Because I had my partner the other day. He's like, you want me to wrap your wrist? I was like, I'm not 85. No, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you, but. Never the day I can't put my own wrist straps on is the day I don't deserve to keep lifting. I'm sure there's still a few guys <laughs> in those band shirts wanting everyone to oh, wrap yeah, their wrists yeah. and wipe their ass for them. So we're just going to three man handoff. He's fairly shallow. He's not terribly far out. And we're just doing a single. I'm just make sure those are even for Good. Good. Yeah, you're good. Just so good. Down just a little. Perfect. All right. Take single. Let's go. Dig in there. Get those feet right. Come on. Come on. Right foot back, just a hair. Good. 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 One, two. Here we go, ready. One, two, up, 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 out, out, out. Release. Straight down. Two, one, go. Hold it. Nice. Good. Good press, man. Thank you, sir. Got some speed. It hasn't slowed down from four plates on. It's still well, good. the same Let's speed. Keep that trend. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. very good. So, the only thing I have apparently that fits is a bench rack. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's the coolest lift, so. You know what? I mean, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell any of my friends, but you're right. <laughs> what do you want? You want to do a quarter jump or you want to go to plate? You tell me, you tell me, you just put something on there and I'll do it. I'll put a plate on there. And you've done um, eight plus off a of full range or? Uh, no, so my, my best PR in the gym was 805 and that was full range. That was 725 was in, at a meet. At a meet, so you've done 805 so, in the gym. So 825, 725, because the only thing that counts is the platform. Okay, I got you. The gym's but I am capable of more. Okay. Go for it. Perfect. Go. Perfect. You're good. You're Let's good right down there. down on that just a little. Yeah. Perfect, thank it's you. Out, okay? Perfect. Okay. okay. Works. Set this shit up. Start from the legs and down. Let's go. Get those legs in there. Right, just a hair. Move. Oh, move yeah, that, right. Oh, okay. Okay. right there. There. Okay. okay. Here it comes one, two. There you go. All right, here we go. Good. One single. Here we go. One, two. Up. Out. Out. Release. You're fine. You're fine. Straight down. Let it go. Right there. Go. Nice wreck. That was fun. How are you feeling on the bottom end? Well, Once it gets going, it just goes. It's the bottom end that's looking like it's... I have a tendency when it gets heavy to get really careful and I'm not rowing in anymore. So you, I'm kind of like almost trying to perfect that line. What do you mean by rowing? Are you, pulling, so, are you trying to pull it down? When it's lighter, I pull the bar in hard. I see. But now when it gets heavier, I want to be almost too careful. So I'm like trying to perfectly control where that line is rather than just 
yoking it and going where it needs to. I've Maybe I conveyed that wrong. No, you did. No, it's fine. I've I've never rode a weight down in my life. You just no. let the shirt take it down. I let I I back off and let the material take the weight and def and do its job and deform. I'm not saying like I got I get loose. Yeah. But I'm not trying to resist like a raw bench. I give the weight to the material to let it do its job and okay. deform over me, and then you and the shirt take the weight back up. Okay. So let the shirt. I mean, I, it's it's. Yeah, I've never rode. I've never rode a, pulled a weight down ever. Okay. I just back off and let the shirt take it. Okay. And then I use my. So when I, t I tuck, minimally, which you're, I think you got a good elbow position. Okay. But I'm using my lats as a guide almost. So I get my lats tucked in and uh, turned on, and then whenever my whenever my elbows feel natural, that's my guide on the way down. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like pull the bar in or anything. Okay, you're just using the lats to guide your yes. elbows down. Yeah. Okay, that's how it that's how it works in my head like visually. I'm not sure if I'm if no, you no, could I, if you I, could I, see it, but like that's how it works in my head. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. What do you want to you want to go up again? Do you want to throw an extra layer in there, or do you want to just kind of play with your setup? You just tell me what to do, and I'm going with it, buddy. <laughs> I want to see, have you worn the figure eight with your shirt? Ever? Nope. We're going to do that shit. All right. Okay, on the next one. Cool. Oh, just throw a quarter. Just throw a quarter on. The material stretch. I'm being too careful, and I'm controlling. Well, that's your that inhibition. I'm controlling it down, like I'm really trying to slow it down. Yeah, your inhibition wants to do that, because yeah. it's heavy. You have to fight that fight inhibition. Fight that, and just let it... Yeah. You, gotta you gotta trust the piece. Trust it. And yeah. that's the hard yeah. that's yeah. the hardest is, part for me is trust I still let it just struggle with that. Like I do. Like I still yeah. struggle with that shit. It gets really heavy. I wanna be as slow and tedious as possible, which I you still have to be because you don't want to get dumb and just you know, Well you mm -hmm. can't, you know, like some of these raw guys, you can't just mm -hmm. go boom. No, 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 you can't do that. Doug, the Mark Bell. Doug yeah. Smithy does that and it, okay. it scares the shit out of me. Sometimes it works. Most Sometimes of the time it doesn't. If he gets into trouble, <laughs> it's it's right away. But he, oh, he, he gotcha. just comes down and goes. Oh, wow. In a band shirt. Oh. It's wild yeah. to watch. Yeah, that's how he does things. I don't do business. All like gas, mm -hmm. no brakes, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. What you'll do is you'll put the shirt on, on the bottom, have it hanging down. Okay. So this will go on first, yep. because that's easy to move, move around. Put that on first, then wraps, then shirt. Got it. So it'll be a figure eight, wraps, shirt. Yeah, sure. yep. yeah. Chalk figure it. Well, okay. <laughs> you got me. Because <laughs> I'm going to forget, I promise. Like higher, lower? Just like well, you would if you were... Well, this is your first time doing it? Yeah. All right, cool. So we'll go higher how you have it. Let me just okay. double check, make sure you're... Bend your elbows. Okay, that's fine. That looks okay. good. So wraps. All right. And then I'll, it'll be a little harder to get your shirt on because there's more material there now. We have to swim a little bit harder. Yeah. Okay. It'll be fine. Well, it doesn't need to go very high, just being heavier. True. Good. Unless you think it does, and I'm... No, no, no. no. These... As long as it's over the elbows. Good. Double ply. Are these doubles? Yeah. No shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I kept looking at them, but like, that feels not like typical injury. Trying to get Rob to make me a pair of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Rob's like, I don't want to fucking sew that shit together. I'm like, hey, man. If... He can he can sew four ply shirts. Like, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> you sent yeah, me a. He, yeah. I told you he sent me a two ply widowmaker like a year ago, yeah. and he goes, "What do you think?" I was like, "Why the fuck does this exist?" He said, "What?" I said, like, "Press on as much as this as I can in a shirt." That's, there you go. All right. There you go. One more on this side. All right. Go for it. Okay, cool. I heard it move. All right. Perfect. All right. Let me, you know, debate my life decisions real quick. No, no, no. You're cool, man. Let's <laughs> go. Nothing to worry about. Execute. 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 I'm going to ground up. I want leg drive the entire lift. Do not slack on the legs. It's like a leg press, static leg press. Dead center. Legs are good. Here comes one, two. <clears throat> okay. All right. Here we go. One, two. Up. Out. Release. Straight down. Straight down. You're fine. Straight down. Two. One. Now press. Fuck that, dude. Nice job. Good. Lift. Woohoo! 
Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> I did the double thumbs up. Woo! Did it. Right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's your picture. Looks like Rambo on the 50 cow when he's doing that. There's a. I'll, if I can find it, I'll send you a picture. Please do. My face is blacked out. Yeah. But it's me on an op. And I'm literally like this, hanging out of a black hawk. That is, <laughs> you gotta send that shit to <laughs> What do you think of that piece in there? What do you think? That was fantastic. I didn't feel any different. Great. The groove was the same. Everything felt good. Yeah. It's 10 pounds over what I hit on the platform. Okay. It was 7.35? Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Hmm. You told me about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Don't ask me how it felt. So I'm sure it moved better than it what, felt. It, so. it moved really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's still just wild that like it's slow out of the bottom, but it, it accelerates once you get like halfway up. It's like it's like nothing's mm -hmm. changed. It's just the low end yeah. that's the heaviest for you. Because you had said like you have trouble locking out. Like that's normally no, like that, normally that top end. I'm out of a groove. It's normally like I did something dumb and protected myself and touched too high, gotcha. and now I'm just too jammed up here to finish. Why well, don't we take one more for the day since, I mean, all things considered, heat, travel, just, we'll take one more, I think, like a 750, which is not quite your best ever, but, like, it's still fairly heavy weight for you. Okay. And then uh, I might have you go down out of the shirt and just show you a couple of things um, okay. with, like, uh, boards and bands and stuff. Oh, about it. Uh, so you cool. said this was 35? 735. So we need a five and a two? Yes. Two, two and a half don't exist according to... Uh, Pastor Joe. <laughs> yep. Those damn corners catch. Oh yeah. Stay All right. right there. Stay, stay right there. Just one more on this side. Okay. All right. You're all set, man. Let's go. Come on. Execute. Get in your head. Execute. Full body lift, squat laying down. Use those fucking legs. Yeah, plan. Looking good. Looking good. One, two. Okay. Get those legs turned on. Here we go. One, two. Out, out, release. Straight down, straight down, it's your groove. Go! Back towards me a little bit, hold yeah. it. Rex. Good job, rep. Oh boy, that was a good run. Hey! That was a good run. <laughs> that was perfect, thank you all so much. Good shit, man. Woo. Nice job. That felt better in the bottom. It did, you, it, it felt kinda, tighter in the it, bottom. Yeah, hmm, yeah. Well. It looked a little more locked I in. I get lazy, I think, on my legs. That's, it's tough. Because. Hardest thing for me with the wide leg going from tucked, mm -hmm. there's a lot more pressure on my low back. Not in a good way. So I think I sometimes am just like, get me the fuck mm -hmm. It might be. But with the fixed foot position, yeah. I don't feel anything in my lower back. Oh, no you don't. That felt the best. That's why it wasn't as squirmy on the bottom. Because normally I get to like, probably between a touch and a one board. Mm -hmm. That's normally where I'm like, we got to be there, buddy. This back's not going to take much more or less. But I didn't feel any of it since we've Okay. Fix the feet. Cool. Well, we'll do we'll do a few things with lighter weight. Now that we got a good one to end on, that's a pretty successful lift. So, All right, yeah, so we're working with a couple of different techniques. Uh, just things I noticed, of course, with his his foot position was the biggest one. He's arching just fine. The equipment's working just fine. Uh, but everything starts from the ground up, including the bench press. Even though you're laying down, like I told him on his last set, it's like a squat laying down. So, uh, fixing a couple of things on the legs and foot position, making sure he's not terribly too wide losing power and also making sure that his feet are even on the floor if you push uneven from the floor you're going to push uneven on the top end as well so he entered on a 750 that's a pretty strong lift especially being 11 weeks out so that's really awesome what we're going to do now is uh just go run through a couple of drills i like to do and teach people um with considering uh, uh extension of the triceps and also with leg drive on the bench so i'll just kind of work with you a couple of things yeah, cool uh, the first one, since we're on the topic of your your leg drive and everything, has anybody ever done the? Uh, it sounds bad or dirty, but it's the fist trick. 
You know what that is? Okay, fantastic. I got this from Mendy. Oh, no shit about fuck, man. <laughs> shit about fuck. I like it. I'll have you lay down. You're not going to take a bar out. You're just going to okay. lay down on the bench and do your normal setup. Normal setup. Got yep. it. So, actually, I, I don't want this bar here either. If you just want to take it. You don't want it at all? Nope, or you want me to just kind of hang out right Just uh, lean it up against something. Okay. That way I have full there range of motion. There is a over here. <laughs> Weird. I can just lay down right here. Okay, we might, we might need it in a minute. All right, so go ahead and lay down. Okay, so when you're doing, when you're doing all that benching you just did, yeah. what are you doing, like how are you engaging with your legs exactly? So, I'm actually, like when I grab the bar, mm -hmm. when I set my legs, I'm trying to push and apply a little tension like I'm pushing my feet, that, like I'm trying to push my body back. Okay. Is how I'm trying to create tension. Okay. So a good way to figure out, I mean, you just did a big weight. Okay. And obviously when, when you have weight in your hands, ideally you're not going to really scooch off the bench because weight's pushing you down. Yeah. Right. Uh, an easy way to figure out exactly what your ideal leg position is and should be is using no weight and using, uh, I, I say it's the fist trick, but uh, basically what you're going to do, I'm going to put my hands right here. Okay. And I want you to push my fist as hard as you can using your legs, keeping your ass on the bench. You got big fucking legs. Keep pushing. Keep your ass down. There you yeah. go. Yeah. You made a little adjustment. Yeah. Okay. So this this is what that. I <laughs> you see you're shaking like that. Yeah. That's how much leg drive you should have the entire lift. Okay. Before the before the bar even leaves the rack, like what I'm setting up, that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm doing that the entire lift. That's why like full power is always hard for me when I did it in the past because my legs were smoked after bench. Because I'm not just turning the legs on after I receive the weight and then push. I'm doing what you just did the entirety of the lift. Now, I don't normally need somebody to put my their fists back here because I got that sticky spray. Yeah. So when I plant it, I don't wear a t-shirt. I'm just stuck there. I can push as hard as I want and I'm not going to scoot up that pad. Okay. So, that's how, so otherwise, if I was like, if I was like slick, and try to set up. I have somebody hold me here, right? As I was pushing before, and then receive the handoff, and then. I just figured out what I was doing. Oh, right. drill. Really? I'm not driving my traps into the pad hard enough. Because when you yelled at me, I noticed to push harder, my ass had to come up. Mm -hmm. And I had to do something funky where I, it almost felt like I collapsed my back you're to get it to push harder into your hands. You're trying to, essentially, you're trying to roll up onto your traps. Yes. He's a relatively flat bench. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got a bit of an arch to you, but I wouldn't say you have like a big arch. No, I don't have a big arch at all. And most of that arch has to. The come last from time I had a big arch was because I tuck so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, the most of that needs to come from your thoracic. Yeah. That's how you do it. T spine. So I'm trying to take my ass cheeks and put it to my traps. Okay. So what I do is I'll lay down. Here, I'll just. I'll just I'm better at showing than I am talking. Here, just switch it. This one has a bar on it. Oh, um, gotcha. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, I'll, show, I'll go through my whole setup. Right. So, I'm, I got my shirt on, whatever. I, I put my feet up. And now, you do. You also, you do some other things with your hands. You're, you're doing this when you set up. Yeah. So, when all I do, I lay down and I grab here. I'm gonna take, I'm, I'm winded at this point because I'm a fucking fat ass, right? But I'm gonna stay here for a minute, just kind of catch my breath and collect myself. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is pick myself up while putting my legs on the floor at the same time, like this. Yeah. Pinch, drive myself into the pad. Now my, what I'm thinking about, because I'm way ahead of the bar right now, my shoulder blades, I want to keep my shoulder blades here while driving myself up the pad with my legs, like this, going up on my traps is hard. Uh, Trying to put my chin into my chest, basically, as okay. high as I can. Now, if I was sticking to the pad, J.M. Blakely said, try to stretch out your back skin. Yes. Right? So my shoulder blades, I'm imagining, are staying down here, and the rest of my body is going up. I'm trying to stretch myself this way. So once I use my leg drive, and this is where the constant leg drive comes into play, perfect arch. Now, if I slack on the leg drive, I'm going to lose it. Okay. So I have to... from. But that's why it's so tiring. Before the bar even leaves the rack, I'm already doing a leg press, the entire lift. And then, of course, I get into my more simple setup where they just push my hands out. Yeah. I don't like coming out and trying to do this stuff. I just ride the rails. They push my hands out just like this. Gotcha. Simplify the setup. But okay. So that's 
when you don't have a bar in your hands, and I have my fist back here, you can push. I'm not gonna move, I'm gonna hold you there. You can adjust and find that optimal leg position to receive maximum leg drive. Okay. But the way you are shaking and pushing, that's the amount of leg drive I need the entire lift. Okay. Even during the setup. All right. So that's the fist drill. It's probably not actually called that, but that's just what I. I can't wait to get back and look at an athlete. Like, come here, you're gonna get fisted. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look at me yeah. like, what? No I'm shit. Like, Lay down there, buddy. <laughs> so, but that can help you too. Like I said, because we're we were talking about your leg position. So if you do that drill over and over again, and kind of find exactly what's gonna be optimal for you, what stance width, and also back towards your head more or out in front of you more. Just practice that, have somebody hold you there and just see where you're the most strong, pushing their fists up the pad okay. as much as you can. So that's, that's the first one. The second one is a little more detailed. Let me grab a, Do you want so if the bar was here and you're set up kind of a little bit further down that way. So you've planted your shoulder blades there. So I want, so you're gonna drive against my fists. Your shoulder blades stay, the rest of your body comes up on your traps okay. as much as you can, hard with your legs. See my ass was, I have to yeah. like. Mm -hmm. My ass keeps wanting to come up from So there. with his ass coming up, is that foot positioning? It could be so you're you wanna again how you told me, if you were attached to a bench that had wheels on it, and you're trying to scooch across the gym, right? Yeah. You wouldn't push straight down. You're gonna push towards those walls. Yeah, we're like towards push the wall. So it's finding that angle. If you're if your if your shins are too vertical. You're just gonna push straight down. So you have to have some kind of forward shit angle a little bit. Yeah, if I put my hands here, you'll like you'll watch. Yeah. I see. It looks like you're arching with your lower back mostly. I am. I think yeah. that's my issue. You might need some you might need some mobility in the upper back. Yeah. Because then that if we're th here, yeah. then we're more arched. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, that's not bad. Look how look how tall your belly is right now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so you might we need, need to work on some T-spine. That's what just, we need. Yeah, to do. I mean, just some rolling or something. Like I, I, I'm not flexible at all. Yeah, but I can arch my upper back like a son of a bitch. But I've been doing it that same way for 16 years. I have to figure out how to arch without being that tucked. Because for years I did it. Like even Tony was like, "Dude, you have a huge arch." But that's because my feet. Do you We're see so old pictures back. of me? Mm. My fucking feet are behind my hip flexors. Yeah. So when you're when you are in a tuck position, this is what Mendy's argument was. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, please do. I was like, well, that was how I was benching. And that's not yeah. terrible if you can drive your heels down as hard as you can. Yeah, you're gonna push back instead of The problem of up. was was this. Yeah, he has no yeah. stability side to no side. No stability, and that was killing me because we'd spend three to five seconds up here. Yeah, right. And then now you're trying to get this true groove, but everything isn't settled. Like you said, with oscillation, yeah. bar might not be moving. The rest of me is doing some weird shit you can't see. It's, it's Mendy's argument with the whole tuck underneath was maximum arch. You do sacrifice some leg drive. I always ask because your position with your legs, right? Like this. Yeah. Looks like a leg extension, right? Yeah. So can you leg extension more weight or leg press more weight? Leg press, leg press. hands down, that's common you're, you're sense. All, that's a much more powerful position. It's just tricky finding what works because you're, you're taller than me too. And this pad, I'm looking- That pad's very short. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like it's maybe more 16 inches I'm tall. I'm pretty much awesome. When I go to a lot of meets, mm. there, I look at their benches and I'm like- Standard for me is, is 17, and three, 17 and three quarter, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure, or 17 and a quarter. If it's 16 and below, it's like floor press. You have no leg drive whatsoever because it's your back's yeah. in the same plane as your leg. So the, the closer your legs come to your plane of your body, the less legs you have. That's why I like benching on a combo rack for me is hell yeah. because they're so low. And when I push with my legs, it's all lower back. I'm like, what, what the yeah. fuck? Because of, so That's you, what I feel like at most meets. So I was just like, I'm so glad the IPA just like okayed the fat pad. Yeah. Because now I'm happy. Because like, yeah. when I sit there and people ask me questions, like I know I'm taller and I know I'm bigger than most, so I'm not the average. But at the same time, look at the average of our sport. Uh, almost everybody in our sport is wide. Would we not agree, at least right. in their back? Yep. Why not use a wider pad? All the four, that's what Donnie Thompson and all his research with, I think he did like 3,500 different retracted scapula positions of different people. And the answer to the call of everybody's width was 14 inches, not 12. Interesting. Yep. That's why he decided to go with the 14 inch wide pad. And you know what's funny? The Thompson fat pad is actually cheaper from Rogue than the Rogue comp pad. No shit. And it's bigger. Hmm. Yeah. Explain to me how more that's material costs less. Not a clue. 
So that's just something right. that works. Again, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, this works for me. You're taller than me, so <laughs> your mechanics are going to be different. But that's just one way to kind of like experiment without having to do anything on the bench. Just oh, yeah. Put fist down. Um, the last one I'll show you before we do anything else is a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have I, do you know what my, my board band drill is? Do you know anything about that? or Somewhat, but it's just treat me like I'm stupid. I know nothing. I'm not going to do that. Do that small band here. So, I need a board to hold it. Katie, hold a board too. Mm -hmm. Which one? Can I do a three? Yeah. Well, this Oh, you already have one. Okay. She knew where you were going. <laughs> so this is a, to me with benching, like the most important thing is, yeah, tricep strength is important and upper back strength and all those things and technique. But if you can't apply the triceps in the bench properly, then all the strongest triceps in the world doesn't mean anything. So I came up with this at like two in the morning. I woke up, I, was, I, I like wrote it down. I had a pen and paper next to me for some reason, but so you, you do, we do board work. Mm -hmm. I don't call it a board press anymore. Okay. I've, I've not done that for years. I took that wiring harness out and plugged a new one in. So I call them board extensions. Okay. Whether you're in a shirt or raw or a vert script or pronated, I call everything a board extension. If you tell an athlete you're doing three board press, that's what they're going to do is press. We don't want to do that. We want to extend. Mm -hmm. So and you can take this home and show other people or use it. I use it just as a uh, main move or a secondary motion, like okay. tricep motion. Yeah. So if you lay down on the bench and she's going to hold a three, you can do this on a three board, two board, one board. Okay. All right. So this is going to be your barbell for the time being. Okay. So you're just going to eh, just grab like kind of like right here, just loosey goosey. All right. Just, normal just like barbell lift. Yeah. So, what you're gonna do? Board now. Now, again, this is this is your barbell. You're gonna take it down, and touch the board. Just normal. Now, without the band leaving the board, extend out to the sides hard as you can. That. And try and keep the board. So come back up. Oh yeah. yeah. So come down. Oh, you yeah, just, 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 just come down normal. You're extending kind of like down. Extend straight out to the sides. Yeah, like that. Now come back up. Reset. So come down. Extend. Doop. Yep, come back up, come down, extend. Okay, so he's also you, his hands are like this. I don't know. Do you want his I, hands to no, stay? No, because he might. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's just how it. So you can come down, extend out. That. So let's move to the bench over there since it has the bar already okay. set up. So if you do that motion with a solid piece of metal, it's not going to obviously. Ex uh, uh, bend, yeah. it's a stretch. Yeah. stretch. Mm -hmm. The bar is going to go straight up instead. So okay. try to mimic what you just did, but on a barbell. Okay. See what happens. I got your hand off. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, that nice new foot position we've yeah. been yeah. doing so well with. So I would, I would go like, you know, uh, wider. Yeah, there you go. So. With our shirt. Yep. We're going to go up. So you're going to touch, and I just want you to think about extending off the board. So touch, extend. That, see? How snappy that is. Do it again. Extend it. Good. Extend. So what I'll have you come, so stay right there for a sec. So if we look right here at his pecs, so do it again. Just do exactly how you did it. Extend. So now try to, if you can bench in correctly, just touch and push like a, you might be able to notice he's, you can see the engagement here in his chest more if he just pushes. Go ahead, just push. Yeah, he's just pushing from here right now. Whereas, if you notice the disengagement, if he touches and just extends with the triceps, he's he's firing from back here. That's what he's trying to do. So do it one more time. Extend. Good. Okay. So the trick is honing that, but doing that all the time. So shirted, semi-equipped, raw. It's just always treating everything like an extension, not necessarily a press, mm -hmm. which is what's going to not only build the triceps, but have carryover to your shirt work. So I, I used to look, watch the guys at like Big Iron. Yeah. Who would do like these crazy board, like these 198 guys benching like almost 900 pounds in poly off like boards. Mm -hmm. But they weren't benching anywhere near that in the full meet because they were touching boards and they were just pushing. 
there was no proper engagement of the triceps off the boards. Okay. Like my best one board is only like 50 pounds off my full range max in the meat. That's how it should be. It shouldn't be. I, should. I, I would agree. I don't think your, I don't think your one board and your touch should be a yeah. 200 pound or difference. Even, even to that argument, like my two board, same thing. It's only like 50 pounds off. <laughs> I should not be doing 1600 off a two board and only benching 14 in the meat. Yeah, that, 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 that never made sense to it me. Doesn't. But that also is why you lead to that argument of the guys who are like, don't be a board pressure. I'll like, sure. You need, a, you need a fine balance of both. Go ahead and don't use your boards all day and always well, touch and let me know how your elbows sure. and wrists end up in a year, buddy. Well, then you can lift more weight over a shorter range of motion. That's true oh, yeah. for every human being on the planet. Well, should be. Should be. <laughs> should be. Yeah. The so, deadlift is not always that case, okay, buddy. Just let me tell you, a four-inch block for me yeah. is hell. Like, because of, like a four-inch block on most people, the bar is here. Yeah. Four-inch block on me is here. Oh, good grief. So then like that pull-in is the shittiest position because that's where the bar is out in front. Is it not also like like, like less leg drive? So it's like- A lot more, less. Okay, that's- that, that A lot ex, less, that right? So you're just it. like, like a lot of mine look like this. It's like a- Yeah. Oof. Oh God. Just <laughs> hips and back, hips yeah, and back. Yeah, just hips and back. Yeah, because okay. I mean, I've, I've never gotten the pelvis through, but I'm a stubborn asshole and I'm determined to be a good sumo okay. puller. Okay. So, but I think- like we talked about closer in for me is the mm -hmm. way, like I'm gonna experiment with like, not quite Ed Cone, but I'm out here like yeah. the rings on a sumo bar sure, are right. here, and I'm gonna put them there. You're, like not, doing the, you're not trying to do the frog style? No, 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 cone. I'm just <laughs> trying, like in between that and okay. the wide, like just bring it in close enough that I have the stability and I don't feel the hip shift. Sure. Cause my last pull up, my last meet, like, the biggest issue is being a big strong country boy and being able to muscle fuck things. So yeah. I've gotten away with things for too long that I shouldn't have been able to get away with. The technique is gonna ultimately be what? The technique is ultimately the equalizer. Like, yeah. I'm a firm believer in make the lifts pretty and the big okay. weights will come. I gotcha. Right, you know, yeah. and that's been my goal now is like all this year, every mm -hmm. time we put a band or a chain on there, I mm -hmm. need to be able to press at least six. Okay. Right, that's, that's that. been my thing is like if eight, is, well, I don't like talking about goals, but whatever, we're just there. Like if eight's the goal, mm -hmm. probably need to be able to do six and something. Yes. That's why I said like, the other day after this cut, because the squat was so horrible, I it was like, yeah, six fifteen double blades. I'm like, how the hell did that go? Okay. Mm -hmm. And my buddy's like, what is that? I was like, if you feel a brand new pair of West Side or Elite lights fresh out of the package and you double them the right way, right, it's got to be two fifty, sure, or two hundred at least. Yeah. So I'm like, we're gonna be all right <laughs> if we can figure out the other two. Yeah. Because that was my worry was like. Because you see how far I can put it up. I was like, Absolutely. I don't know if this fucking shirt fits. And then when they had this opportunity, I was like, and I told Tiffany, Tiffany's like, Jimmy would definitely be able to be tell you if you need to do something. <laughs> the only thing I, do you think I even need to do anything like that? The only other thing I thought about was like the collar, you know, where they like yeah. put the collar on yeah. there on the sleeves and just so make it closed. Adding a collar to the to an F8 shirt doesn't really change the functionality as much. Okay. It does make it, now for a newer athlete, the stock collars they, they tend to be harder to like stay down okay you don't have that problem you're, you're down low yeah. um but the deeper the cut the easier it is to keep away from your neck because okay. fh are not meant to be worn up here yeah and that's i never understood that but yeah. the other it's, question is like where do you it's like with polys right there's a certain point you get to where you buy a tighter shirt mm -hmm. and start to manipulate right mm -hmm. at what point would you say somebody needs to be in a four play I mean, because my thing I kept telling Tony was, I was like, we can have a four play conversation when I hit it, mm -hmm. right? But then again, at the end of the point, something I've taken from watching you is like, give yourself time, let your tendons and ligaments acclimate. Yes. Like, if it takes me the next fifteen years to bench the grand, mm -hmm. so be it. But we'll do it safely and not implode. Yeah, not I don't want to be the flash in the pan guy who no. shows up five, six years in, totals twenty five, blows his shit off, and you never hear from him sure, again. Right. You know what I mean? Longevity. So. Yeah, no, I think it's mostly just, I mean, that has to come full custom. Like, drop, Rob doesn't make fours, yeah, like, Rob stock. Yeah, Rob doesn't make fours, normal. Um, yeah. So, I guess it's up, up to you, really. I mean, I think I would just get the maximum that you can out of a, what you have. Yeah, out of what I have, and then, but how do you know when you're getting the max out of a shirt, when it's the shirt and not you? Okay. I've never gotten to that point where I think I've maxed out a shirt. That's I've grown right. out of a shirt, or, you know, the shirt's been too big or something. So, my, my experience with the F8s has been the very first one Rob ever made me was a four. Okay. That's the first one I ever had. He just was like, hey, here, here's a four. Yeah. And I used that one for the last three years. Because I know a lot of guys now, like, they'll tell you it's a two and a three. Mm -hmm. Or, like, they'll, what they'll do is they'll take their first two attempts in a three and then take an astronomical swing at a four. Yeah. And, like, maybe for 
someone a little more experienced maybe, mm -hmm. that might be a route to go. Sure. But you're probably gonna need to train in that four ply and know you what do. you can do. This isn't a, I use my three ply all the time. I know I'm good for 750, I'm gonna oh. throw this on and take nine, that's not how that works. See, I made a mistake when I was training for, uh, I think before the 1350 I did in February of last year, I did this training cycle where I would, four weeks training, I would go single F8 in the first week, then double, and then triple, and then quad. In, in a four-week cycle, okay. take the fifth week kind of light, like off, and then repeat it. Yeah, and I was hitting PRs like in the single, and the double, and the triple every single week, but I was not in my competitive shirt often enough, and that fucked me for the meet. So I realized like I have to be in the competitive piece because it's different than the rest of them. So I got back in the competitive piece. I abandoned that whole training cycle, which was working. I was getting stronger, mm -hmm. but I was not having enough experience in the competitive shirt. So I abandoned that. And then spent the last like seven weeks in just the competitive shirt by itself, and then I benched my big weight. So you have to, you have to. It's a, it's a balance. Yeah, it's a balance of play. Like I've, I'm trying to be better about the auto regulation. Yeah. Right. And learning like, it's really easy to auto regulate when you feel like balls. Sure. It's not easy to auto regulate when you feel good and you have a plan and you're just like, you know, that's seven thirty yeah. move good. Yeah. Probably should take a swing at eight. That's never the answer. Well, <laughs> that's why I keep records. Yeah, okay. So I don't do dumb things because gotcha. if it's up to me, the old greenie's taking over. I'm all gas, no brakes. Let's jump out this plane backwards and flick off the camera. Big green, mean <laughs> weenie. I love it. <laughs> you want to do a recap on it? Just so we can end it? Yeah, sure. Cool. Also, okay. uh, we could get Mike also sharing, you know, so for the coach perspective, this is what we covered, and then what you're taking home, what you're excited about you know, take away from your experience. Do you want to go first or should I? You go first. Okay. What am I doing I again? My voice. Just a recap of what you guys did. <laughs> okay, cool. Just at the end. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. Yeah. I'm so Go, go, go. All right. So after his uh, shirted work, which went exceptionally well, just went through a couple of drills, uh, just things to take home. So we did the, uh, the Fort Woke, uh, the, we did the footwork drill, right? So just working on his foot placement. He is taller than me, and I always have to remember that like not everybody's built the same. So we're all going to have different stances on the bench, different widths, different uh, back towards the head, out towards the front. So we just I gave him a drill to work with where he can drive and learn where he's optimal without having to actually put a barbell on his hands. And the last drill is the drill I, uh, I've done on this channel before where I take the band and we're going to come down to the boards and learn how to extend off the boards, which is a lot easier to teach with a band that's flexible and stretches rather than, you know, a solid barbell. So it's just a drill you can use to teach that, but also just build the triceps up as well in a very, very bench specific manner off of boards and learning how to extend and use triceps rather than touching the boards and pushing again. So I don't call them board press. It's a board extension. Therefore, we can build the triceps and ultimately bench more weight. You good to, you got it? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. I, oh. think. I think. All right, what did you want me to talk about? So, your, your entire experience, like, what were your takeaways? What, what did you learn from Jimmy? Like, what you gained from Gotcha. It? You just let me know. I'm good whenever. You can cut it up and chop it up. I got you. Yeah, if you stumble, don't even. Yeah. Just oh, keep going. Good. All right, let me tell you, this is a phenomenal experience. If you ever get the chance to be around Jimmy Kolb, he's forgotten more about bench pressing than half of us will ever come into learning, all right? Um, the change in mindset for me is very big, right? I'm a mindset person. If you change your perspective, you can make a rainy day look like a sunny day. Jimmy's right. If you stop thinking about a press and think about it as an extension, that will take you a lot further. One thing that he ingrained that has been a philosophy of mine is stability is strength. Right, we gotta be stable first. We have to have proper technique and then we can press. It's the little things that matter, man, the hanging fruit. This was a phenomenal experience. I have some good ticks and trips to take home back home with me, but ultimately, man, I couldn't be any happier. All gas, no brakes.